Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle at Keystone Comic Con once again with Richard Horvitz, talented voice actor, and we're going to talk about the voices in his head. So how are you enjoying the con? I'm enjoying it uh, very much. It's a first year con and uh, uh, it's my first time in Philadelphia and Philadelphia is indeed the city of brotherly love. So how much love did you find? It, it depends on what street I walk down. I'm sure they love you to give them, you know, money on some of the streets. <laughs> some of them. Some of them. I love uh, Chestnut Street. Chestnut Street and 13th, South 13th was very, was, was a fun, fun uh, time. Oh, also I went down to uh, Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell and that was amazing and very uh, powerful. I've, I've never been here. I was very moved. That is awesome. And did you have a cheesesteak? You know what? I didn't. I did not have a cheesesteak. I cannot believe I've come all the way to Philly and did not uh, indulge in a Philly cheesesteak. I hope they can get you one before you, you know, to go or something. Maybe. I know I'm stepping on toes here. I'm like, I like like provolone in my cheesesteaks, not cheese whiz. Sorry. Sorry, Philly. There are some places that will do provolone. Okay, good. There, there are certain places that are very touristy that you kind of want to avoid. From what I've seen on, um, like, the Food Channel, there are two competing restaurants. One claims to be the best Philly cheesesteak. The other claims to be the best Philly cheesesteak. And they're, like, right across the street from each other. And they're both wrong. And they're both wrong. Where are those located, do you know? It's been a while since I've been there, but I, I would have to look it up on a map because I don't go there. Got it. Got it. Okay. No true Philadelphian actually goes there. Okay, good. <laughs> Got it. Good to know. We'll get you to the good places. Good, good to know. So what have you been working on lately? What can you uh, tell us about? Well, um, of course, next year, uh, the Invader Zim movie, Enter the Florpus, will be uh, premiering. Uh, so I'm excited about that. I've been promoting that. And uh, we're still working on the post-production. Um, also, Psychonauts 2 is being recorded right now as we speak. Well, not as we speak, but as I speak later. I was going to say, this is not going to be in there. No, uh, later next week. And then, um, what else? I'm uh, doing a lot of, I do Skylanders Academy, season three um, premieres on Netflix on September 28th. And then, uh, in addition, I've got a nice role in the next season of uh, um, Elena of Avalor, and a nice role on a show called Tangled. And uh, I, I do a character on a show called... Um, uh, the Adventures of Kid Danger, which is an animated spinoff of Henry Danger from Nickelodeon. And at some point you sleep, right? Some point I sleep. Yeah, some point I sleep. And when I'm not sleeping, I'm teaching. And when I'm not teaching, I'm traveling to conventions. Yes, that is my life. Sounds like a, a good life to me. Yeah, it's a wonderful life. I have a wonderful family, wonderful wife, three wonderful boys, and uh, I've been very blessed. Thank you. That is awesome. Now, remind people where they can follow you on social media so they can find you at the next convention or see what else is coming out. Yes, you can follow me on um, at Richard Horvitz, H-O-R-V-I-T-Z. Um, you can follow me um, on Instagram at um, Richard Horvitz Classes on Instagram. Awesome. We will put those down in the description below. Now, we have the three questions that... They're kind of silly, but, but just go for it. Um, what is your go-to karaoke song? Ooh, that's a, hmm. Anything by the Partridge family. So you were a big fan of the Partridge family when yes. it was out. Yes, I'm a huge fan of the Partridge family. I love I Think I Love You. Um, oh, you know what? I would tell you my go-to karaoke song. It is um, Billy Joel. Slow down, you angry man, child. You're so ambitious for a juvenile. But then if you're so smart, tell me why are you still so afraid? Hey. Yes. Yeah, we, we could go on, but. Yes, but I'm sure you don't want us to. <laughs> okay, next question. Um, if you could have any superpower, yes. what superpower would you like to have? Uh, the ability to exude Wi-Fi wherever I am. I would be Captain Wi-Fi, so I would never be without Wi-Fi. That is like the most awesome power ever. You would be a hero to millions. 
I would be. People would be would like glam on me just to get my Wi-Fi. Well, what would the password be? Well, I can't tell you that. <laughs> That's like my secret identity. All right, fair enough. And finally, it's encrypted. 32 bit, 64 bit, 128. Yes, it's encrypted and it's generated. But I can't I cannot generate you a code unless I'm in my Captain Wi-Fi outfit. What would that look like? Just like a, lot, a bunch of like uh, uh, Ethernet cords coming out of me everywhere. That would be a really cool... We should actually... A challenge. Somebody draw Richard as Captain, Captain Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Captain Wi-Fi. And definitely tweet it to him. <laughs> and the best one will get um, my, something. My applause. <laughs> and and if, if you say, also tweet it to Phantom Spotlight, the, uh, the one that Richard likes the best, we will send you an autographed po- copy of my book because that's all we have to give away. <laughs> Sounds good. Do you have anything that you want to say to your fans before we uh, wrap up? Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, my next stop is New York Comic Con in October, so hopefully I'll see you there. Awesome. We will hopefully see you there as well. Thank you very much. Everyone, thanks for watching. As always, have fun and follow your fandom. Thank you for watching this video. I am Invader Zim, and I traffic in doom! And so, if you do not subscribe to this channel, you will have doom that befalls you by me, Invader Zim.